Chef here back with another G-Shock unboxing or review video. Today I'm gonna review a vintage Master of G watch called the Master of G Fisherman. Well, before I proceed even further, I am currently wearing another vintage Master of G watch and that is the AW570, the Mudman G-Shock and a DG version. And there's a lot of Master of G watches at the back as well. Master of G usually features something that most G-Shock just didn't have. So it is kind of special. In this case, it was released in the year 1996. So it is quite a big deal if you compare it to the H and also all the watches that was released in the year 1996. So for example, this watch feature a titanium uh, parts. Most of them, not the hard case. The hard case, it is still a resin hard case, but all of the metal, tiny metal parts is made out of titanium and thus allow this watch to be used trolley in the ocean in the middle of the sea by the beach while you're fishing basically exposed to salt water without having to worry about if your watch if your metal parts if the metal parts in your g-shock watch will begin to rust because titanium is rust resistant it is not as tough as stainless steel but it is tougher in that type of environment so that's why this watch is a big deal not just that casio add a lot more functions that will be coming handy if you're a fisherman, all these variables really, really matter, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not a huge uh, fishing guy myself, but I do know a little bit about this type of topic. So knowing that this watch could do or perform all those features, it is, I gotta say, it is really, really incredible. Not just that, there's a lot more. So let's run through all of them. But firstly, let's start with the watch construction. So, which is incredible, by the way, the watch feature well you guys can already see this is how the overall piece looks like right now the buttons feature only four of them in red colorway for this specific uh, series it is square sort of like a rounded shape with three stripes for the texture for a better grip both sides goes with the same type of construction the watch band was locked with two screws in titanium as well similar to the screw that is locking this Modman or Golfman model today. I believe the Golfman, the recent G9100 Golfman, is sort of like the predecessor for this Fisherman. I mean, this watch is dead stock, but can replaced replace that with the Golfman since the material is still the same. Anyway, moving on, it does feature a ring on top to support the watch to make it look tougher and also indeed to make it, it is a little bit more tougher. I already disassembled the watch to see how it was constructed and I gotta say, it is a really interesting watch. There's five layers of protection in there. So it is definitely gonna be worthwhile. We'll have a red G-Shock on top and white writings lettering on the sides with g stamp at the front over here. That is not the light button. This is just for aesthetics. The light button will be accessed on this upper right corner, which will glow in green colorway electrolysis. That is, all right, I'm getting way ahead of myself right now through functions, right? Let's move back out to the watch strap which does feature a stamp, a fisherman writings down there. So that's interesting, literally uh, tell you guys that this is the fisherman and it does feature this texture in the middle of this watch span. The watch span is straight but tapered in a weird manner at the tip over here, which is really interesting. I don't think I've seen any G-Shock watch that have this type of uh, watch band at all, right? And similar go with this uh, other side of the watch band. In this side, we'll have a rust resistant well, similar to this guy right here is Rust Resist Frogman G-Shock watch because it is titanium and also titanium case over there. In this case, Fisherman and Rust Resistant. The watch band keeper, however, is made out of resin which already disintegrated. I mean, this watch is already 20 years old. All of the uh, resin part definitely will start or uh, begin to disintegrate. But surprisingly, the watch band on a vintage G-Shock watch usually will last a lot longer than any other parts in there, including the engine sometimes. This is the watch buckle, which looks incredibly different. It is not the most uh, practical one, but it is the best one yet for safety. I wear the watch quite a few times already, and I gotta say, it is not easy to wear the watch with this type of buckle, but it is really, really secure. I never felt much more safer when uh, compared to when wearing other watches at the back. I mean, I have a lot of G-Shock watches, you know, but I'm wearing this, this one feels secure. This, not everything. I mean, this one feels secure, not the Golf Master. It will sit on your wrist the whole time you're wearing the watch. So we'll see now, there is a Castle Japan sign below it in this titanium buckle, matte finishing. 
Oh, by the way, I replaced the watch band keeper with this metal uh, bar I have that I've taken out from other G-Shock watches and that uh, did quite a pretty good job. Similar way where when I use on my Golf Master, this type of buckle is really, really comfortable. If you haven't tried this one yet, please do. You're never gonna switch to a resin uh, band keeper anymore. I'm sorry, not buckle, band keeper. Anyway, moving back to uh, the back plate, you'll see that it is made out of titanium. It is locked with uh, four screws only on each corner, which also made out of titanium as well. And it is pretty interesting to see the emblem, the logo for the fisherman that uh, featured a mermaid. Didn't see this coming at all. It should be something more manly usually, but this time it is a mermaid. Anyway, there's the Casio 1519 module DW-890, sorry, 8600 reference number Japan. Titanium back water resistant to 20 bar and of course fisherman and shock resisting structure. So fully made in Japan G-Shock watch pack with a lot of feature made for fishermen or any uh, sea, ocean, beach related activities. So this is incredible man. Just look at the glimpse, you instantly will remind you of the Frogman G-Shock watch. Let me compare them side to side. Look at that. The features are almost the same as well, except the Frogman didn't have any sensor at all. This guy has a thermometer sensor and tight grab and moon face. Basically, you know what, this watch has more function than the Frogman. If I would like to compare, this is much more comparable to the Golf Master really because it has the sunrise and sunset, thermometer reading and all those. So yeah, this one is better for comparison. And talking about the functions though, let's move it on to the watch face and have a look right away what else that this watch will offer to you. So, 3 digital display panel. The eye will display you thermometer reading right away. You could swap the digital display down here to display day thermometer and time display instead or just regular day date display. As I already mentioned, you could use the upper right button for EL back lighting. And of course, you'll have this moon face and tight graph display on top. Right away at home time, keeping for tight prediction. Knowing when the tide's gonna go up and down will significantly impact your activity or result in more catch if you are gonna be using this for fishing, of course. Next function will be moon up and moon down. Not sunrise and sunset, but I should say moonrise, moonset. The watch will tell you the moon age and also the time where the moon will be at the lowest point and the time where the moon will be at the higher point. This is important for you to predict how strong a tide would be. You will also be able to predict all this every single day in advance. So that is interesting. Pressing mode button will bring you back to home time keeping. Pressing mode button again will bring you to the uh, sunrise and sunset mode. Of course, you're gonna need to know the time when the sun gonna go up, when the sun is gonna, gonna go down because it, that will affect the temperature change and also the weather change which soon will affect how the fish will act or react to that. So that's pretty important. Next is alarm. This watch will feature, I believe, just a single alarm, right? And this is how it will sound like. While setting the alarm, you do have access to timekeeping on top of there. So that is really convenient. Next function, sorry, uh, moon, sunrise, alarm, and stopwatch with a precision to 1 over 100 seconds, ranging all the way to 24 hour. Pretty cool, you could time your fishing just to make sure or just to know how many minutes that would it take for you to catch something. So that is pretty nice as well. So you could stop there, you could split time as well if you wanted to. And that's pretty much it. There are no countdown timer at all in here, nothing else. So obviously, recent list G-Shock watch is better, but this watch, in my opinion, for the price, is really incredible. It retails at about 21,000 Japanese yen. But if you are purchasing this watch today, it will cost almost half the price of that, which in turn similar to most uh, G-Shock watch, entry-level G-Shock watch we got today. So knowing that this watch has a lot of functions and the price is roughly similar to most lower-end G-Shock watch today, if you find one of these, I highly, highly recommend you guys to grab it right away. Especially if you found this in a great condition. Definitely, definitely a good catch. This is totally worth it. The watch, I mean the overall, of course, you're gonna need to make sure the condition is great. But overall, it is a really, really good timepiece. You know what? Can't wait to wear this watch on my wrist. And show you guys how it will look like. When you're putting this uh, strap into the buckle, it is slightly not as smooth. And when you are wearing other G-Shock watches, you're gonna be able to feel a little bit uh, of resistance so that's pretty nice look at that i didn't even put the buckle yet but the watch already stick on my wrist so that is a nice indicator as well but not as easy to, to be put but for professional wear 
this watch feels really really safe now add in the buckle down there i could just wear the watch from here and you are good to go because the strap is pretty thick and they built really really tightly and it is pretty stiff as well so it will snug sit snug on there but if you want a better security if you want to feel a lot more secure you could slide it in this side of the buckle which is not gonna be easy at all look at that i'm struggling right now but there it is once you add it in here the watch is pretty much stick on there it is not gonna go anywhere at all now put the band keeper pull it all the way up and there it is not a lot of extended tongue at all i'm wearing it host number two from the top so if you have a skinny wrist this is also a good deal incredible g-shock watch which is really underrated i don't know why probably because not a lot of people know about this i mean this watch was released like two decades ago so i didn't expect anyone to uh be able to know about this watch there are a lot of people talking about this watch anyway but now you do you could find this information out there i already talked about this so if you have any concern uh, or idea or comment please leave them in the comment section down below it's gonna be pretty helpful to everyone as well in order to decide whether this watch is perfect for them or not but from me my personal opinion i gotta say this is a great great catch all right so that sums it all up if you want to see me unbox more and more master of g high-end master of g model like this in the future you could do so by donating to my patreon page or just buy any one of my t-shirt design merchandise it's gonna help the channel to grow significantly but whatever method you pick to help the channel to grow i will appreciate it a lot already so that sums it all up thank you very very much for watching thank you very very much for your support this is g chef and I'm